When we built this house, we did the double pane windows, we did the insulation, we did everything to make this thing last forever. I've heard people comment as they come out here, the beautiful scenery. It's a very, very comfortable country house. I think there are certain things that we were really looking for after being in the house that we had previously been in. Uh, we wanted a, as much maintenance free as possible, so we went with the brick exterior. We wanted a ranch style home so that uh, we, could be on, we could have the option of being on one level. We have, of course, the finished basement that we do use uh, with a, a lot of enjoyment. The family room, we, we tried to center it around the fireplace. Instead of being just a square room with the octagon shape on it, you can get more chairs around the fireplace, more people, and, and it's very enjoyable. The windows are also a favorite of mine. We get geese, we get uh, bald eagles. Just love uh, looking out in the morning and seeing a bald eagle roosting down there. It's just uh, you know an unbelievable sight. There's a lot of times you can look out the windows and you can see the turkeys and the deer. Well, Cindy was the one that put the kitchen together and all the cabinets are custom made. Lots of ample drawer space and, and cabinet spaces. We're going to leave the stovetop, obviously. Uh, the oven was new last Christmas. Refrigerator, freezer, uh, the side-by-side, -side, it's staying, dishwasher and trash compactor. So we actually have an additional hot water that will, a heater that will supply the utility room uh, as well. The total is, could be seven bedrooms in. We do have a full bath downstairs, a toilet sink and a shower, so that's a full bath. So a total of three bathrooms in the house. In the upstairs, there is four bedrooms and two bathrooms. One of the bedrooms upstairs we did use as an office. Uh, we had a desk in there and that's where we had our computers, our file systems, cabinets. A couple years ago, uh, we installed a geothermal heat pump system. That system has worked out really, really well for us. Our heat and electric bill maximum might reach $180 during the winter, $150 during the summer. It's really a very, very economical house to live in. It has uh, windows out, primarily the south and east. Uh, views. Then it goes into a master bathroom and a large walk-in closet. We did just remodel the bathroom. We just did that four months ago. Put in the, the tile and a new toilet and everything so that the bathroom has been remodeled and it looks very, very nice. We finished the basement. It's completely finished. We put the hot tub in prior to building the house because it is a eight-person hot tub. It's that open area. If you're in the hot tub, you can talk to people playing pool, you can watch TV. Off of that, there is, uh, some people refer to them as summer kitchens. The heat pump system creates hot water, and the hot water goes into an extra hot water heater. There's actually 100 gallons of hot water in the house, and living with two other girls, plus my wife, uh, we never run out of hot water. We always have plenty of hot water, and it's, it's been a real, real plus for us. There's two more bedrooms downstairs and a sewing room. That could be a small third bedroom if you wanted it downstairs also. There's 56 acres surrounding the house and the barns. Uh, we have added a new pond. It has an automatic water out the back of it. There is excellent deer hunting, excellent turkey hunting in this area. Several years ago, I got a 13-point buck, which was a wonderful thing. 
we shopped around for buildings and Morton Buildings was the, the buildings we thought were the best value. They have an insulation package that is really, really good. Uh, it is heated and cooled uh, in that building and the utilities are just extremely low. In the office building we have a showroom where we uh, show our equipment that we repaired and serviced. We have an office, a kitchen, a full bathroom out there, and then we have another room that we used as a parts room. And then the other part of the building was pretty much just storage. Well, we've got two barns, one that was primarily set up for hay storage. It also had this older barn. We're not sure the age of the barn, but it's a, a really wonderful structure. We're offering the house with 56 acres. To the south of the house and that 56 acres is another 56 acres and it has a uh, 8.3 acre lake on it. You can see it from the house, beautiful view. There's excellent fish in there. Uh, we stocked it with catfish, bass, and crappie. It's really a recreational park all in its own.